Tonight in eastern Kelowland, a community came out in, the dro in droves for a little boy in need of a heart transplant. On the night beat, Kelowland's Dan Santella is back from Canastota with a look at what the community is able to do for Abel. Dan? Well, Don, six-year-old Abel Dalby of Canastota needs a transplant because the left ventricle of his heart didn't grow as it should have. He's been through three open heart surgeries, and right now he's at the Sanford Children's Hospital dealing with pneumonia. Tonight at the Canastota School, the community showed what this little boy means to them. From a soup dinner to bingo to bouncy houses, raffles, and a silent auction, all proceeds from this event titled We Are Able go to the boy's family. Dustin Evenson of Mitchell, whose daughter is in Abel's class, isn't surprised by the turnout. I kind of expect to see a few more too shortly as people get home from work and get cleaned up and come up here. Abel is the sweetest, sweetest student in the entire world. Um, he's happy, kind, caring, hilarious, witty. He's everything, and we love him and support him. Bailey Olson would know. She's Abel's kindergarten teacher and helped organize the event. His family is amazing to know we can help them in whatever way that's possible. And right now it's by donations and this awesome event. It's amazing. Neither my husband or myself are originally from Canastota. So I feel very blessed that we picked Canastota as our community when we got married because, you know, the outpouring of support for him has just been amazing. This is a great community. Uh, I lived here for a while. And just they rally around anybody. Abel's mom is left speechless when it comes to describing how it feels to receive this support. I don't know that there are words to express it. It's, you know, some people we don't even know, but everybody around town knows Abel. You know, and everybody just, they love him and his can do attitude and just how carefree he is. And if you'd like to give to this cause, you can send a donation to the school. The contact information is in this story at kelloland.com.